1994, in a dimly lit pool room in Minnesota, shout out Docs Bohemian Q, uh, I saw some magic on the pool table for the very first time. Uh, I'd walked into the room and a buddy of mine, pool hustler named Rock, had landed himself in a tough situation where there was only two balls left on the table playing nine ball and his cue ball was locked right up to one of them. And uh, he, used, he used throw to make the ball and set up the nine ball to win the match. So what I didn't know then is that it's not magic, it's physics. It's called throw and it has more to do with why you miss shots now than you could possibly believe. Let me show you. I'm Jeff Johnson, and this is a Misspent Youth. So let me show you what I'm talking about. This is the situation that Rock found himself in. The cue ball is locked to the eight ball, meaning they're touching. He has to make the eight ball in this pocket and somehow get shape to make the nine. So he needs the eight ball up here. But he screwed up the leave and left himself like this. So here's the solution. So in situations like this, throw is the solution. These two balls are locked together and uh, there's friction between them. And so you can't cut the nine, but you can't cut it thin enough to get it into this pocket because it's, it's set up for here. So the only way to make this is to get both balls to kind of move to the right. And that will work by using throw. And it's not magic. It's just throw. The balls stick together for the smallest of moments as the cue ball passes past the nine ball there. And it will, it will knock the nine ball off of its course and into the pocket. And you can do that one of two ways. You can do it with the push shot, which is what I just did. And that worked because even though it's aimed here, as I shot the ball this way, it, it threw the nine ball into the pocket. The other way to use throw, same thing, only instead of using the push, you can use spin. But the concept is the same. As the ball was spinning this way, it grabbed the nine and it threw it to the right into the pocket. Well, it looks like it's not a possible shot, but it is. Throw is a reason that you're missing shots, especially straight in combinations. People miss them all the time and they don't know why. And throw is the reason. So here the five and the 11 are pointed right at the hole. So those go straight in. That should be an automatic shot. And uh, people miss it all the time. And the reason is because if you don't hit the five straight in the 11 to go, throw will become a factor. So here I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit the right side of the five just to show an example. That will move the five this way. The five should grip the 11 and pull it off and I should miss this straight in shot. Let's see. No. Shot missed even though it was straight in. And the reason for that is the phenomenon of throw. Now, same scenario, knowing the throw is a thing. In order to make this five ball in here by hitting the 11, I have to make sure the 11 does not throw the five in either direction. So I can only approach the 11 from this direction. And if I do, ball goes right in the hole. So as long as you approach it from the back, throw is not a factor, ball goes right in the hole. But now that you know that throw is a thing, you can Use it to realize why you're missing shots that look like they should be straight in. Here I've got the cue ball, and I'm gonna hit into the two ball. The two ball, the one ball, and the eight ball are all locked together. The two is going to put energy into the one, and the one is going, the energy is going this way. So although the eight will go down the table, it will also have energy going to the left because the one and the eight are locked together. So throw is going to, is going to knock it off course a little bit. So as it goes, it should, ricochet off one of these rails here and miss this shot by just a few inches. So because of throw, this should not go in. And it doesn't. Now to show you that that's throw doing that, broomstick. Same exact shot as before. If you mitigate throw, you can make this all day long because it's set right up. You may go the freaking broom. Ha <laughs> ha. 
How bad. Now why did that work? That worked because I used saliva to grab the balls, touch right here, and that mitigated the uh, the friction that the balls touched. And so since there's no friction, it just went straight down the, straight down the line. So now that you know the phenomenon of a throw and kind of why it does what it does, you can use it to understand why you're missing straight in combinations, for example. If a combination is straight into a pocket, you need to hit straight into the back of that ball. Otherwise, the throw phenomena will brush it off one side or the other. But if you find yourself in a scenario where throw can help you advance, then it's a great thing. It's a great thing to know about. Understanding throw is just another, another weapon in your repertoire to getting good at pool. And I can't wait to uh, go on this journey with you. Till next time, I'm Jeff.